so I'm going to do a few poems that, of course, I still have a little bit of storm in them. This one's called O'Neill's Lament. Burn these ideas in the flames of a pagan's New Year's when chickens roost in natted hair, drunk slide in time on steely strings, and the stars trickle down on us, twinkle into empty bottles. Not a snowflake's chance of salvation round here. It's a ninth hell effigy. It's a cross dress and ball gown. It's a hobo love and bookworm. What makes the bones of family whole comes on whiskey wings. Recognition is born on the neutral ground. We will wake again to bulldozers, bullseyes, and FEMA will pick the scab of our poverty. I am not all right, but I'm upright. And I'm here, a warm body, clinking glasses with the dead. When they pass around the bowl of dreams, you will see that overwhelmingly the majority of images have been imagined by us, wild crafted by a people who can't hold on to anything not tied to their belt loops. And if you dip into this bowl, a puff of cloud, you will be party to a tribe of lost nomads, no field to season, no flock to shepherd, drunk and dumbstruck in the rain. I am not all right, but I'm upright because dying of a broken heart is no longer an option. These stars we've been admiring were originally laid for coyotes who shared with us tufts of their rough and payment for our diligent sins. They howl for us in Saturn in tune with the ghosts of the strong man. Howl for the passing of wonder, wail for the empty dream bowl. O'Neill warned you, but you wouldn't listen. The devil be watching and waiting. Now the water's receding, and those stars are shining still, but then flames lick up around this plane of existence, and the cock is crowed threefold for the traitors in the mist, and all the drunks in unison poured their drinks upon the ground, while the cops made a raid on the mausoleum, charged the dead with disturbing the peace. I am not all right, but I'm upright. Because I was there for the last trumpet call, I saw the last strap fall from the shoulder of the stripper who stayed when the sirens lay dead. Silence. A quiet night, but progress for the city of sinners comes on waves like sympathy from the undulating throats of coyotes. Lay me down no longer upright, but all right. We riffraff all come home to roost. Saturn, beneath the watchful glance in the strong man. This is called. Yes. Just a little lighter. It's called Sailing Tathagata. Tathagata is a Tibetan word that kind of means it is what it is. And a rimple shade is a teacher in Tibetan Buddhism. The rim shot ripoche is alternating between the stillness of a mountain root and a yeoman's belly chuckle. I have an armful of muscle and despite my slipshod shuffle, I get shanghaied upon the weary poncha train, strained betwixt the native portion of the blood and an alien of extraordinary ability. After each sunset, a lull, then a swell. A lesson of sheets and sails, luffin, talking to you in language only the salt in your blood knows. Crime the fall off north and deeper in. We got the wind and the right of way. The hull is heavy. The spray wakes us in the same way the ripple shade does incrementally. Only so much as makes you happy every day, a discipline, a craft to freight you to a yonder shore. This port's gone sour and I've run up my tab in every ratty store. So yes, if you please, teacher, pour me a dram of your enlightenment. I'll darken the docks no more. It's the sea for men like you and me. It's the worry and love of the sea. Uh, this one's about my other favorite piano player in New Orleans who's passed away. And uh, Stephanie's playing often reminds me of him. His name is James Booker. St. James the Booker had himself a hard road to go. Leg busted in eight places, only one eye and a bad taste for that hair on, that cocaine. So bad he did eventually die from it, so they say, but Lord, could his little fingers play? play. I mean, maybe an angel wing on every ring of them off bespangled fingers. Man was a known humdinger, could pass for doctors and crooners and Johns. Wasn't like to bow down, hell no, but Lord, could he sing, could ring notes up the air like tears from ocean stone. 
and the Desire Street preacher passing by in his wheelchair declared that music is a gift from God, meant to uplift the soul. God bless. A man can still be so alone, so alone. So you suppose the Lord went down to St. James' local barrel house, sat him down, and listened to him play gonzo on the Sabbath? I bet when the saint made those pearly gates, he showed up. Wings of skitter, rings of glitter, a scepter in the one hand and red beans in the other, sat him down at that baby white grand, and not one note could he utter. And by this, the booker was made to know that the better part of his soul was still laying in the gutter for whatever that's worth. And the best heaven that he's like to know is in a bar room in Louisiana, right here on God's green earth. Yeah, you're right. <laughs>